The name of Julius Caesar is struck in golden letters as a world conqueror. He appeared as a sun on the horizon of Rome and became famous in the annals of world history due to his crowning personality. Till death, he became the hero of many romantic episodes. His devotion to work crowned him with success in each and every step. Julius Caesar, born in 100 BC to a noble Roman family, claimed descent from Venus. His parents were Gaines Caesar and Aurelia. His early education was overseen by Gaulish teacher Marcus Antonius Gifo, known for his linguistic prowess. As a youth, Caesar defied the powerful Sulla by refusing to divorce his wife, Cornelia, daughter of Marius's follower, Cinna. He fled Rome to escape Sulla's wrath. After Sulla's death in 78 BC, Caesar returned and swiftly ascended in Roman politics. Under the guidance of Greek orator Apollonius Milan in Rhodes, Caesar honed his oratory skills, work ethic, and political insight. He later held various significant positions in Rome, including consul in 59 BC and 59 BC. Caesar formed the triumvirate with Pompey and Crassus, each controlling different parts of Rome. Caesar's ambition led him to seek greater power, but the death of his wife Julia changed the political landscape. He then married Calpurnia, whose father became consul. The marriage of Julius Caesar to Calpurnia gave him a political boost. His desire to be a great conqueror was fulfilled when he led several expeditions in different parts of the globe. Pompey stayed in Rome, Crassus set out to conquer Parthia, and Caesar led an army of 40,000 to Gaul. Through courageous efforts, Caesar triumphed over the Gauls. His written account, commentaries, chronicles this expedition. He spent nine years in Gaul, ultimately integrating it into the Roman Empire. This victory extended Rome's borders to the Rhine River in the north and the Atlantic Ocean in the west. Caesar's agricultural initiatives endeared him to the native population. After the conquest of Gaul, Caesar became jubilant. The bandits of Germany had obstructed the way of Caesar during his Gaul expedition. In order to teach them a lesson, Caesar marched towards Germany with his Roman army. A violent war took place between the army of Germany and Rome. At last, German soldiers were defeated. Caesar returned from Germany. After that, people of Germany became rebellious. Caesar marched towards Germany with fury and inflicted a crushing defeat upon them, drove them away completely to the other side of the River Rhine. In 54 BC, Caesar invaded England. It was only because Prince Cassivellaunus of England harassed the Romans who lived there in Gaul. So Caesarea crossed the British Channel by ships and landed on the riverbank of Thames. He defeated the army of England. The prestige of England was shattered. This victory of Caesar made him popular before his soldiers. Crassus died in 53 BC fighting the Parthians. Julia's death strained Pompey and Caesar's relationship, ending the triumvirate. Senate told Caesar to send his army to Rome, but he refused. In 49 BC, Caesar crossed the Rubicon with his army, becoming a dictator. Pompey fled in fear, and Caesar defeated him at Pharsalus in 48 BC. Pompey fled to Egypt, where he was killed. Caesar pardoned some of Pompey's followers, including Capsius and Brutus, who later assassinated him. Caesar returned to Rome and was welcomed as dictator for ten years. After winning the confidence of the people, Caesar was in hot pursuit of Pompey, desiring to meet him in person. With his arrival in Egypt, he was presented with the head of Pompey by a Greek. Caesar became cheerful and arrived in Alexandria in 48 BC. He subdued a rebellious army in Egypt and substituted it by a Roman garrison. He put Cleopatra and his brother Ptolemy on the throne of Egypt. He spent nine months there with the Egyptian queen Cleopatra with romance. The romance ended with the birth of a son to Cleopatra named Caesarion. For this activity, Caesar had been criticized in future. Caesar marched from Egypt towards Asia Minor. He defeated Pharnaces in 47 BC in the Battle of Zella. Caesar was delighted with joy and sent his message to one of his friends at Rome. That message was, I came, I saw, I conquered. Romans danced with joy with the achievements of Julius Caesar. This enhanced the glory of Caesar in Rome. Caesar came to know that the followers of Pompey had taken refuge in North Africa. Caesar reached there in 46 BC. He crushed them on the battlefield of Thapsus. 50,000 soldiers were killed, which included their readers like Juba and Scipio. Cato, an old senator, killed himself before he fell in the hands of Caesar's army. Then Caesar returned to Rome to celebrate his victory. Julius learned that another group of Pompey's supporters were hiding in Spain. By that time, the supporters of Pompey had placed his son on the throne of Spain. Caesar defeated the enemy in the Battle of Munda in 40. BC even. He did not hesitate to kill the son of Pompey. This sanguinary battle brought an end to the career of conquest that Caesar was pursuing for a long time. 
Caesar returned Rome with Cleopatra in October, 45 BC, and saw the prevailing disorder in Italy. The entire administrative setup was ruined. The people of Rome appointed Caesar as dictator for life. In a grand function, the crown of the Roman king was put upon his head by Mark Antony, which he refused. After that, Caesar wanted to bring political stability in Rome. He accepted the title of imperator. He treated the Senate as an advisory council and reduced it to a secondary position. Of course, he raised the number of Quester and Praetor up to 40 who became his supporters. He also built many dikes to control the flood in River Tiber. He passed a famous law known as Lex Julia Municipalis. By all these reforms, he earned a great name. Julius Caesar was a great mathematician. He opined that there was no relation of the calendar to the change of season. He appointed Socinius, a Greek mathematician, to devise a calendar on the Egyptian model. This calendar was known as Julian calendar, after the name of Julius Caesar. Julius Caesar was a writer per excellence. He wrote a book named The Commentaries. From that book, information is gathered regarding the wars and campaigns of Julius Caesar. He also wrote many books in Latin language, which also reflect about his wars and politics. He was also the founder of the first newspaper of the world known as Acta Urbis. He ordered to erect his statue in Rome, next to the Roman kings. He ordered to worship his image, which was installed in the Temple of Quirinus. His relation with Cleopatra was also not liked by the Roman people. The Roman nobles hatched a plot against him. They spread rumor that the illegitimate child born from Cleopatra will be declared as king by Caesar. On the 15th of June of 44 BC, the wife of Caesar denied him to go to the Senate. He did not care it and reached the Senate Hall. He sat on the throne. Then 23 conspirators surrounded him as if to do him honor. Casca, one of the conspirators, stabbed him at the back. Caesar saw his trusted friend Brutus among them and was astonished. He uttered, et tu Brut, or you too Brutus. Conspirators stabbed him brutally and he feels dead on the floor of the Senate Hall. Life of Julius Caesar was romantic. He excelled as a warrior, administrator, politician, fighter, and a reformer. For his achievements, he has left an indelible mark in the annals of history.